This cup is part of the bushing. It's a disposable part. Right? What we're going to do is we're going to cut it with a reciprocating saw. The problem is you can't cut past this sheet metal bung into the control arm. That's a big problem. So what you need to do is we're not going to cut all the way through it. We're going to cut 90% through it. And we're going to use ideally a cold chisel, but in reality, a cheap Harbor Freight screwdriver. Um, and we'll split it the rest of the way. It, it comes off like butter. If your vise is tight. <laughs> if your vise isn't tight, it falls like that. <clears throat> there you go. We'll edit that out in post. And that is all, folks. That easy. There's a close-up, so you can see we've just scored the bushing pretty deeply, but not all the way through. Very important. Okay, here's the same bushing. I'll flip the A-arm over so I can get an angle on it. I'm going to take a screwdriver, right? I'm going to pop it right in here. I'm going to press down on that bushing. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it sideways. I'm going to come in like this, and I'm going to split that as far down as I can. Then one side will be up more than the other. I'll stick the screwdriver in, to, in the gap, right? And then I'll pry it, pry it, pry it. This would be way better with a cold chisel. Okay, we've taken a couple whacks at it. All right, you can see. I've been splitting it down there and literally three blows of the hammer and we're getting to this point. It's just about ready to just pop out onto the floor at any moment, believe it or not. One other thing to note, the factory ones, see, they've staked it at three places. What that means is they've bent the lip of this over and that's going to keep it from trying to pop out even when it wants to pop out. So what you do is... You could just keep splitting it the way we're splitting it and eventually it's gonna it's gonna fall out. But maybe you get it lucky and you get a shortcut is we're gonna take a screwdriver, we're gonna pop these stakes in so that it has clearance and it eventually, before we're even all the way through this, this is just gonna pop out onto the floor. Get in there. Just a couple more. What I've done now is just gone around the perimeter of the hole on this side, making sure those stakes are tapped in and tapping on the edge of the sheet metal. This is in effect what we've doing, what we're doing. We've split it down the edge, you tap it in, you tap in the stakes, you tap around the edges this way just to drive it out. As soon as you can see it, you get the screwdriver in there, pry off a little bit, and eventually it just pops out. You notice this is all open air right here. So you can't just like get the biggest hammer you've got and just whack on it until it comes off because you'll mess up all this stuff, right? The new bushing has to be able to slide in there without getting bound because the arm has to articulate. Especially if we're using polyurethane bushings, the rubber ones are squishy enough that, you know, things can be a little out of alignment. The poly ones are hard enough that if we don't, if it's not lined up, it's going to squeak or it's going to be almost impossible to get it reassembled. So, there you go. Hey, it's very common 
and it is indeed what has happened here is the metal sleeve for the rubber bushing is actually rusted onto the shaft this is the shaft from the control arm now in our focus in our new poly bushings that's going to be a point of articulation it needs to articulate there we need to lube that and it needs to be able to move uh, the rubber ones even if it's frozen the rubber was so squishy that it still had room to articulate but the poly isn't doesn't work that way and what will happen is if it's not lubed properly or if it's grabby or if it gets rusted on is it's going to start squeaking it can have squeaks all the time and so nobody likes that that's why people complain about polyurethane bushing squeaking all the time well, one of the many reasons one they do squeak <laughs> number two if this gets corroded like it is then the only point of articulation is between this metal and the poly that's not how it's supposed to be so um uh, on, this is a disposable part we get new ones that come with the new poly bushing so it's split right already we just stick a screwdriver in it and tap it with a hammer and it'll pop right off This is the rod that mounts the lower control arm. This is the bearing surface where the uh, where it passes through the bushing. And this is where that bushing sleeve rides. You can see that the this is very corroded. Um, you can barely make out the factory has a spiral groove on the surface that uh, is supposed to carry you know grease. Uh, I mean, you can see how well that worked over 20 years. The grease is all gone, and this is totally corroded. So. Uh, we're going to strip this down to, obviously, uh, decent surface metal. And uh, when we put the new bushings on, we will lube them up like crazy. It will be a slightly smaller diameter once we get done cleaning all this rust off. Um, but uh, that will just give us room for the grease to ride. And once we get it all tightened down, there won't be any play. It will be rock solid. A few thousandths isn't going to matter anyway. Uh, on this kind of assembly. Uh, these threads right here, the last few threads are totally corroded. That's where the rubber flange was riding. Uh, the threads of the fastener never make it down that far. So it uh, doesn't really matter for our purposes, Other, apart from you know corrosion in a notch is a terrible stress riser. But we'll clean that all out and make it good, and we'll make sure that we slather it all with a healthy dose of grease. Um, we will clean this all up as well. Uh, once again, corrosion, just not good. We'll paint it with some chassis paint or something that will resist corrosion. And uh, it'll probably be good for another 20 years. This is after being cleaned up. Painted. That's before and after. I always take the chance or the opportunity, I should say, when upgrading something like this, to, to clean it up, to improve things, look for damaged or worn out or broken parts or unsafe parts, and upgrade it. In the long run, it's worth it.